thank you for coming to Happy Fox University. This video is about our brand new support center section, which will help you build and construct a support portal that you can use to host your FAQs, turn them into a knowledge base so that your customers can search for self-help and if they don't find the answer, they could submit a ticket directly to you. And speaking of submitting those tickets directly to you, that's what we're going to focus on primarily in this video, which is the new ticket form of the support portal. Now, when you come into this area, you will be able to see all the details that Happy Fox has by default set up to present about your support portal to whoever's wanting to raise a ticket. They've already gone through the process of searching through your FAQs. Maybe they've tried to hit the search bar where things are indexed. They didn't find what they were looking for. No problem. They can come directly to the, to the submit a ticket page and that's what we're going to be creating today. So you can see a view of how Happy Fox will present this to your customers over here. And you are able to go over here to the layout options to decide if you need things like if you want a banner section in the top and, and, and what that color should look like and what the text should be and what it should say. You're able to do all of that in here and you can make these changes and once I've made any changes in the system I can hit save and everything will update in real time over here on the left hand side. Uh, there's the ability to customize the message after ticket creation. Also to create CAPTCHA which is great if you want to limit people trying to spam you or send in junk. Uh, the CAPTCHA will pop up and put a stop to that. But the real value in this page is this lets you do things like reordering the fields. So there's a certain way Happy Fox has set up to bring information in as a ticket. It's starting out with the ticket details and a message, kind of like sending in an email. And then you can CC people and drag and drop files. But then you get to start picking things out from the categories that you expose to your customers this way. And if it is uh, certain sections that we have, like what kind of uh, sales opportunity is it, what size, what type of interest is involved, all of a sudden I'm able to pull from the custom fields that I've created inside of Happy Fox to help me uh, get information via the support portal. This will all be included in the ticket then when it gets submitted, which is most useful for you because this not only helps you build in things with our automation such as our ability to make sure the ticket gets to the right person at the right time but it also helps you with reporting because then these just become data points that we capture or collect for you along the way and this way people self-select these when they put a ticket in through the support portal and what's really great over here is the ability to customize things if I want the email to be up on top of the full name because the email is the primary way that we keep track of our contacts. We can do that. I could even say, well, you know what? I'd rather have contact information up above uh, people entering the ticket information. I can do that as well. I can even put the custom fields first thing if I wanted to that people see from it. So you're able to reorder things. And then when I save them, everything would update in real time over here on the left-hand side. And then I'm able to go in and I, and I can also change the form of all this, like what kind of text am I looking at in these areas and, and, and the different sections. Everything of it is fully customizable and you will have the full capability to do that directly here in the brand new support center area. Now briefly I want to talk about where these drop downs come from. They come from our custom fields section over here in the management section of Happy Fox. You need to build these in ahead of time to gather the types of information that you want from your end users when they submit a ticket. There are separate videos available in Happy Fox University to help you do this, so I would advise that you go and seek those out. But once you build in your custom fields, then that helps you get the most out of building your support center and especially the new ticket creation page. Thank you very much. Please come back to Happy Fox University for this and other instructional videos.